welcome to class 5 ncert mapping your way chapter 8 part 5 and in this part we'll be looking after the topics dances from different states and the sea dances from different states page number 120 the children saw many floats that is junkies and dancers in the parade there is there saw many dances from different states of india so dancers from karnataka were the best one of the child said that the dancers from the karnataka are the best while the other said all these people have to travel so much to come to delhi why to delhi because this is celebrated near that is the republic day parade is where is it celebrated in delhi i like the tripura dance from tripura and sikkim they have to travel far but haryana and uttarakhand are closer to delhi so the children are See, uh, saying to themselves regarding the dances what they have seen and now they are discussing regarding the distance what they have traveled like in our before videos we have seen that we have discussed regarding the distances between rajpur janpath road and all so not to red fort from rashtrapati bhavan to red fort and all now the, we are discussing regarding different states because these dancers are coming from different states the children are thinking how much distance they have to travel to come now look at the map of india given below and find the states these children are talking about answer the questions so in the map you might have all seen the indian map yes in indian map we find all the states so looking at the map we have to point out where are the states which these children are talking about and answer the questions which are given so this is the map children so before going into the map first you have to know your directions okay what direction is this this is north direction which state is to the uh, towards north jammu and kashmir and exactly opposite to it will be south and when you face to the north your right hand side is the east direction and opposite to that is the west direction now let's see the questions the karnataka team starts from bangalore and moves in the north direction which states does it cross to reach delhi so which team they are sp uh, speaking about here karnataka team karnataka team means where it is it is in bangalore and which direction it is moving north direction so first point out where is karnataka bangalore it is here north direction means which side it has to go that is the north direction and it has to reach where delhi because red fort rashtrapati bhavan is in delhi and what all states they have to cover let's see it's maharashtra madhya pradesh and rajasthan what are the states maharashtra madhya pradesh and rajasthan so what you'll write here maharashtra madhya pradesh and rajasthan next question jammu and kashmir is to the north of delhi jammu and kashmir is to the north of delhi so team from there travels towards south to reach delhi which states that it cross now we are talking about which state it is delhi and jammu and kashmir so jammu and kashmir team has to come to downwards yes or no because delhi is to the north of jammu kashmir so jammu and kashmir is to the south side so they have to move south side yes or no children so which state it has to cross himachal pradesh and punjab to reach delhi himachal pradesh punjab and haryana and it reaches delhi Uh, what you'll write in the answer himachal pradesh punjab and haryana nonu lives in gujarat nonu's friend javed lives in west bengal where does nonu live gujarat nonu's friend west bengal nonu wants to visit his friend in which direction will he travel so understood the question children okay once again i'll give you the question here 
where is nonu living he is living in gujarat so where is gujarat point out gujarat yes and where is nonu's friend he is in west bengal so point out west bengal now what is the question nonu wants to visit his friend so he has to go to his friend's house so which direction will he go if he go like this it will be north will he reach bengal no if he go down it will be south will he reach no so which side he has to go he has to travel the east direction okay children which direction he has to travel he has to travel towards the east direction now let's see the next question is there any state which is to the north of jammu kashmir so which is jammu kashmir this is the jammu kashmir and north of jammu kashmir means this side can we find any indian state here no we cannot find any indian state here so what you will write the answer no there is no state which is to the north of jammu and kashmir fifth question is there any state which is to the west of gujarat for where is the gujarat this is gujarat and the west direction is this direction is a west can you see any indian state here no so what you will write the answer as no there is no state which is to the west of gujarat now the next question if 1 cm on the map shows 200 km on the ground what is this this is the scale it is 1 cm on the map is equals to 200 km on the ground use this scale to find out about how far is delhi from jaipur now we have to find out how far is delhi from jaipur so where is delhi this is delhi and this is jaipur that is he has to travel from here to here so what you will do like before we did you will keep the scale and you will see the measurement what it takes from delhi to jaipur so roughly when we keep the scale and see the distance between delhi and jaipur on the map is about 1.25 cm and one point to be noted here is when you are keeping the scale some may find it out to be 1.20 1.22 1.23 1.24 so anything can be considered because we are taking a rough calculation on the scale keeping it on the map children okay. so i have taken here as 1.25 cm and what is the scale given for us 1 cm equals to 200 km then how much will be the 1.25 1.25 into 200 that equal to 250 km so which is the answer you are getting it as 250 km those who doesn't know the calculation how to calculate this first you do 125 into 2 125 into 2 means how much you will get 2 5 is a 10 0 1 will carry 2 2 is a 4 plus 1 5 next 2 1 is a 2 Yes or no? Now two points are there, and the two zeros will be cancelled. So how much answer you are getting? Two fifty. If you know know that way also, one point two five. That is one twenty five. Like that you write it, and then multiply with hundred. Do the normal calculation after getting uh, the value. After two numbers put zero, you will get it as two fifty. Okay, children. Now let's see the next question. Estimate how far is Jaipur from Bhopal on the map and on the ground also. So what the question they are asking? How far is Jaipur from Bhopal? How far is Jaipur from Bhopal? Where is Bhopal? This is Bhopal. And where is Jaipur? This is Jaipur. So first, what you have to do? You have to take a scale and measure the distance from Bhopal to Jaipur. after measuring on the map the distance between bhopal and jaipur is about 2.5 cm so i'm considering i'm taking it a round figure so that i can give you the calculations correctly so it can be 2.4 2.1 when you are measuring you might find slight differences children here the scale is 1 cm equal to 200 km so the ground distance to calculate the ground distance what you will do 1 cm is 200 km so 2.5 cm is 2.5 into 200 that equal to 500 similarly you do the multiplication you will get this answers okay children now look at the map and tell which state is surrounded by four other states 
Now, look at the map, I am giving you other map here and see that which state is surrounded by four other states. For example, if you are taking this state, so how many states it is surrounded by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Yes or no? So, like that they are asking which state is surrounded by four other states. For example, now if I take this Telangana, okay? one side is Andhra Pradesh, other side Karnataka, one more side Maharashtra, one more side you are getting as Chhattisgarh. So, how many states it is covered? Four states. No, no. So, what answer you can write it as Telangana. Uh, which state has the largest area? If its uh, if its name is not in the map, find it out from your teacher or parents. Explain how you got the answer. So for this children, Rajasthan has got the largest area. Okay. Once you can go to the Google also and you can check it the exact area also. You can see and if you uh, find out according to your areas calculation which we did. Each square box or more than half will be considered as one, half is half and less than half will be left. In that way if you calculate you will get it, <coughs> sorry, In that way if you calculate you will get it and the larger area is Rajasthan. If we check the number of grids covered by it in comparison to other big states, we can say that Rajasthan has the largest area. So, what all big when you look at the map, which all you find it as big it, calculate the area for that. You know how to calculate the area, we already did in area and perimeter lesson. So, in that way you calculate, then we can come to a conclusion that the Rajasthan area is bigger. And also for confirmation, you can check out the areas of each and individual state, the more area is for Rajasthan. Similarly, next question, which state is about 8 times bigger in area than Sikkim? So, Himachal Pradesh is about 8 times bigger in area than that of Sikkim children. So, Sikkim is the smallest one, you can find it here. Where is Himachal Pradesh? This is Himachal Pradesh. So, Himachal Pradesh, if you find out the area, you can multiply it and you can see it is 8 times more, nearly 8 times more. And if you take the original areas also, you multiply the Sikkim area by 8, it will be exactly 8 times more. About how many times of Punjab is the area of Rajasthan? Rajasthan is about 7 times the area of Punjab children. So, here it is 7 times, okay, 7 times the area of Punjab, okay children. Now, the next one, the sea. Bala is standing on the sea coast and looking at the vast sea. The sea looks endless. This is in the page number 123. Okay. This is the sea. This boy name is Bala. He is standing at the sea coast. Sea coast means at the beach and looking at the vast sea. The sea looks endless. Can we see any ending point for the sea? No, it will be endless. So, have you seen the sea in the picture? Where is the sea? Where is the sea? This is the sea. Now, look for the sea in the map of India. What color is used to show the sea? This is blue color map because of the image drag and everything it is looking different. This sea will be in the blue color. So, look at the map and see which color is used to uh, point out the sea. Which is the color used here? This is the sea. Okay. And which color is used? It is blue color. Which color is used? Blue color. Yes, I have seen the sea. The blue color represents the sea in the given picture. Blue color is used to show the sea in the map of India. Next, mark those states which have the sea. So, now the next question is marking the states which have this sea. Now, what all are the states? See, Gujarat, I am marking it here only, ma. You will write the same thing for the answer. Gujarat, the next one is Maharashtra because it is having the sea or not this side. Maharashtra, Karnataka, Kerala, Tamil Nadu, Andhra Pradesh, Orissa, West Bengal. Okay, children, which all states has? Gujarat, Maharashtra, Karnataka, Kerala, Tamil Nadu, Andhra Pradesh, Orissa, West Bengal. Next question, name one state which does not have the sea on any side. So, on any side, 
for example if i take madhya pradesh does it have sea on any side no similarly you can take consider from here like chatisgarh does it have any side no jharkhand it has any side no so any one you can write it out for example i have written it as madhya pradesh i hope you understood this part we'll meet in the next last part of this chapter children till then thank you